Hey there, wellness warriors. I hope my video is not still lagging. Ugh, I think it still is, whatever. Um, so tonight I was really inspired with my personal development reading from John Maxwell's 15 Laws of Invaluable Growth. And there goes my phone. And I feel called to share with you um, this chapter specifically because I've been talking a lot about building consistency within your business and within your three vital behaviors. Oh, this video is annoying me. Um, anyway, and this chapter was entitled Law of Consistency. And the um, main theme is that motivation gets you going, but discipline keeps you growing. So he lays out some great, valuable tips on not only how to grow um, that consistency and um, things to think about to get you there. So how to grow consistency. Number one, know what you need to improve. Your future is dependent upon your personal growth and when you expand yourself and you expand your horizons and your options, your opportunities and your potential. And the more tuned in you are to your purpose and more dedicated you're going to grow, uh, to grow towards it, the better your chances are of reaching your potential, of expanding your possibilities and doing something significant. So know where you need to improve in your um, specific skill set. Two, know how to improve that. Um, he gives some tips here. One is to match your motivation to your personality type. And he ha lays out four different um, personality types and um, what their strengths, weaknesses, and how to find that motivation for that personality. The first personality type he lays out is called phlegmatic. Their strength, they're easygoing and likable, but their weakness is that they tend to get inertia, they'll probably get lazy and apathetic. So how do you um, motivate them? That type of personality, maybe it's you, maybe it's not, um, is to find value in what you need to do. Find the value. The second type is chloric, chloric, chlorics, cholerics, cholerics. <laughs> Their strengths are the, you, this is this take charge, you're quick to decision, you are the leadership type. But your weakness is that if you're not in charge, you refuse to participate. So you're like, mm, I, I'm out. So focus on the choices you can make um, to keep yourself motivated. The third type is sanguine. Um, I can't remember if I'm pronouncing that right. Strength. You are the life of the party, but you lack focus. So how to motivate yourself? Make it a game. Make it fun for yourself and make it fun for your team. Um, fourth and last kind is melancholic. This is the perfectionist. <laughs> Me. Um, you have the strength. We have the strength to be really attentive to details, but we're afraid to make mistakes. So how can we keep ourselves motivated? Focus on the joy of learning the details and the potential to develop a mastery over some subject matter. So identify if you're one of these, which main type you are. Uh, be aware of your strengths, be aware of your weakness, and how you can motivate yourself to get your it started. Um, within that, of knowing how to improve yourself, we need to, we, you often attempt too much. So he also suggests you need to start with the simple stuff. Master the basics. Practice every day and give it time. Start with the small, simple stuff, and that will build your motivational momentum. You also need patience. The time factor we often don't give ourselves, especially for perfectionists, and value the process. So I liked how um, in this section you talked a lot about reverse engineering um, towards your goals, but enjoying also the process itself and the journey of growth. And that's hard if you're a destination type A. Let's get it done, like me. I'm still working on that constantly. But I liked how this breakdown of reverse engineering was focusing on where you want to be in your life goals, work backwards. What are your annual goals from there? Then work back to daily goals, work back to your habits, which will work back to your actions that you take, which will affect your attitudes, which will ultimately change your lifestyle and affect your lifestyle. So I like that breakdown. Um, all right, next step, know why you want to improve. Um, this is the long-term motivator. This is what we, uh, is called in the compound effect, your why power. you got to connect to your values, your dreams, and your purpose. And this is going to give you that push 
when you hit the walls. And if it's something that if you're maybe your why is not big enough and you need to seek out a bigger why, um, whether it's for your business or to stay on track with your workout regime, um, you've got to connect with something that's really deep and dirty within yourself and your being. And then finally, know when to improve. And when is that? Right now, there's never a perfect time, right? Uh, there's never a perfect time to start a new job or when to, you know, when to get uh, pregnant or get married or whatever. There's never a perfect time for anything. So start now. People do not decide their future. They decide their habits and their habits decide their future. So we can decide right here, right now. We can't control the past. We can't control the future. All we can control is right here, right now. So um, within that, he also at the very end discusses how to be conscious. Sometimes we're so focused on the goal and the destination that we're not focused on uh, and conscious of our growth. And he compares the two. And you're going to see more exponential growth in all matters of your areas of your life if you focus more on being growth conscious versus goal conscious. What does that look like? Instead of the destination, it's the journey. Focus on maturation and maturing in your life versus the motivation. Focus on lifelong versus seasonal. Changes versus challenges. And keep on growing versus just final stop. I met my goal. I'm done. No, we keep going. It is a linear forward motion. Um, so I really wanted to share that with you that about this law of consistency and these little small disciplines, these small habits that we're building, not only with our eating habits, exercise and Shakeology and inviting people, but it takes time and the motivation gets you started, but it's the discipline of doing your three vital behaviors every day and being consistent with that, patient with it and giving yourself the time of being consistent with that. It will bring you success. You have to trust the process though. I know I'm in your shoes. I'm a recovering perfectionist myself. I hate waiting. I'm impatient, but I'm with you. And we. It, and I can truly say it is just the small steps, being consistent on Facebook, being consistent with your branding or just being of sharing who you are with people live, with people on the internet or whatever, and not just relying on motivation and inspiration, but taking it to a step further towards your success of those daily disciplines, those three vital behaviors. It all comes back to that. Wanted to share that. I'll see you guys later. I love you. Keep on pushing. Access that Y power. Build that consistency. Mwah. You are warriors.